In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my new favorite character, Toad. That's right, you guys probably know I've been a Yoshi main for quite a while now. Uh, but much like me not liking the teddy buggy, because simply everyone uses the teddy buggy, I have grown to not like Yoshi, because literally everyone always uses Yoshi. Look in front of me, like five, six Yoshis. There actually is some good variety in this room. Dry Bowser, Cat Peach, at least what I can see in front of me. I think that's a Birdo too now that I'm actually seeing everyone ahead of me. But yeah, it is time I switch things up. And I feel like Toad is super underrepresented, and I've kind of grown to like Toad recently. You know, the awesome sound effects. Has a pretty good weight class, you know, feels good to drive. As you guys know, I really do enjoy the lighter characters with the high handling stat, high acceleration, because I get hit so much in this game. So it's kind of a no-brainer that I pick Toad. And I'll probably use maybe a couple different combos over the course of this video, but I've been really enjoying the Ink Striker recently with the awesome ink visual and sound effects. I made a video recently actually using all the different ATVs in this game. And I feel like out of the bunch, the Ink Striker really stood out as my favorite. And yeah, that's going to be what we're going to be up to today. First race, we got 3DS Rainbow Road. We're just getting completely obliterated, but good thing Toad has a really high invincibility stat compared to Yoshi, as well as that acceleration stat, like I said. So getting hit, getting comboed is really not as much of a problem as it would be with Yoshi. Because if you guys have ever played Yoshi, you know how little the invincibility stat is. It is kind of ridiculous how often you get comboed because you basically have no invincibility. Uh, that player, wait, they fell off. First is already finished. Am I going to be toxic and back these greens? Of course I am. And we're going to take the second. A great way to kick off the video. We started off with 3DS Rainbow Road, and now we are playing Wii Rainbow Road, or Weebo. And wow, that player really just swerved to take my box when they were snaking there with Mr. Scooty. I feel like there's actually not a lot of Mr. Scooties in this room. Yeah, someone's rocking the Mach 8. Wait, what's it called? It's called the Mach 8 in this game. I completely blank there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that does have the same stats as the Ink Striker. That cart, whatever it's called. I'll put it up on the screen, of course, as always, and correct myself. But yeah, speaking of the Ink Striker, at least with Toad with the Red Rollers and the Cloud Glider, my new main build. It's actually pretty solid all around, you know, it has 5 mini turbo and 2.5 ground speed, which isn't necessarily the best, but I'm a big believer in this game that you actually don't need a super meta combo to do well. And of course it is kind of like a sliding scale of, yes, the best meta builds like Yoshi Teddy, Yoshi Cat Cruiser will give you the best chance of winning. But it's still very viable to use, you know, slightly off meta picks because they're really better than I feel like people give them credit for, especially using a character like Toad, Toad's character class, which I believe is Shy Guy. And I always get the Koopalings messed up. Forgive me. Is it Larry? I think. I don't know their names, of course. And am I going to get leg trailed here? We do not. Let's go wide for some coins. I actually only picked up three there. Yeah, we'll try to get some good items and recover here. And we get the double red shells. Maybe I can... Uh, was that fire? I'm not even sure what hit me there. Everyone has, like, stars around me. I'm just gonna, like, go wide here and not go for the shortcut. Another red shell coming my way. I'm just a red shell magnet already. Hopefully that doesn't continue throughout this video. I gotta watch out for these green shells. Yeah, this lobby is kind of crazy. It's actually a good mix, though, from players uh, from around the world. A couple Japanese players, a couple North American players, a couple European players. I always love to see it. And pretty much everyone is 20k or more. I think there's one player who's actually like 77k in this room. And wow, that's a great pull. I have like no coins. I feel really slow right now. First is gone. I'm going to use this. There should be a shock soon, right? Maybe at the next set. And wow, we get the triple art. I was really hoping for some more invincibility. Maybe another dodge. But I can... Okay, yeah, there's a shock. I figured there would be one sooner rather than later. Um, unfortunately, we did not have anything for it there. But either way, when there is a shock, it's actually helpful because... You know, everyone grows in an order from back to front. So even if you are in the back, and wow, I try to activate the star, but there's a little bit of delay because I use my shroom. But yeah, basically what I was saying, even if you don't dodge the shock and you're in the back, it can be helpful because you will grow before the players in front of you. And that kind of tightens the pack up. There are a couple players that broke away. I'm assuming they dodged or something happened. Um, and I'm just going to go super wide so I don't get started by that Rosalina player. Let's take the other path here too, just to avoid everybody. And we can kind of shroom up. But it looks like I won't be able to really gain too many spots at this point unless something crazy happens. 
And we get, yeah, we get the triple shrooms. We're probably not going to make up any spots here. Wait, that player gets hit. I guess I will take a fifth place in this next race. So I'm definitely going to jinx it by saying it, but the track selection has been amazing so far. And is that player using the Bone Rattler? Wow. It's a pipe frame too. There's a Bitty Buggy. There's Mr. Scooty. Is there even like a duplicate? Okay, never mind. Of course, there's an army of Yoshi Teddy Buggies when I look backwards. But literally everyone at the front of the pack right now is rocking a different combo. Love to see it. This room has been pretty awesome so far. Um, and I should have known they're going for that double box. It's always the case. It's, of course, worth it to go for the single when there's a pack that's crowded because one box is better than no boxes. And I think that happens to me and basically everyone I watch um, who plays this game is the double box is always super competitive and it is super frustrating to, of course, miss a box, especially like a crucial box near the end of the race. It's still early, so it's really not that big of a deal. Of course, it's always better to get a box than to knock it one. Can we get the snipe? We missed them. Wait, did we smart bounce them? I think that wasn't mine. That was someone else's. Uh, we can chain up the set here. That's fire. That's triple greens. Let's just stick really wide here. We can somehow swerve around the thwomp and also get the lag trail and not get lag trailed. That was pretty crazy. There's the blooper. Yeah, my lines are a little bit bad there because of that little shortcut is tough. And oh no, I chained and we got hit with a red on the chain. That is unfortunate. But I probably should have checked what the person behind me had just in case. But there we go. There is a player breaking away. Nothing for the shortcut here. Shocked on the glider. That's actually not too bad. If you guys didn't know, they changed it. I think it was in like wave two or three where when you get shocked on the glider, you kind of spin out a little bit differently. So it's typically better to actually get shocked or even to get hit. Like if a blue shell is coming for you when you're in first, it's actually better to get hit on the glider than on the ground that's a bomb we're just gonna shroom up how did i not pass them sooner wait they're gonna throw it forward i'm gonna back my bomb can we go inside for the double we cannot get it that's a really good pull i'm gonna slow down okay a different player got redded but the boo takes my triple shrooms just before the shortcut that is super unfortunate yeah i'm just sticking super wide here i'll let everyone do their thing and take each other out and it looks like it kind of worked out for me can we get a good pull here that is a terrible pull considering that player beside me pulled a boo and triple shrooms and i get a single red and a single shroom so yeah again i'm just gonna go wide this cannot end well for me though as i'm already in sixth place and i guess i'll get passed by only one person that's not too bad we'll take the seventh like this track almost never comes up it is one of the first tracks in the game it's like the second track in the very first cup let me know in the comments guys what tracks you guys actually play the least online this is definitely up there for me um, which is kind of a shame because I actually do really enjoy this track. It is pretty simplistic, but it has a lot going for it. The aesthetic's awesome. The music's great. It drives really well. It has a couple shortcuts as well. And always just gives good races, I feel like. I definitely do enjoy playing this track whenever I get the opportunity to make that happen. And okay, that player had the red. They trailed it. I'm just going to shroom up here, try not to get leg trailed. Yeah, it looks like we can go by them. And oh no, they're going to get me with the green shell snipe. I thought I could evade them there. We just could not. And we're already down in 10th. Everyone's getting fired. We can take the shortcut at least and regain a couple of spots. There's more fires. Is that like in a ghost? What is even happening? There's a red shell. There's always a red shell in this room, no matter what. I feel like if I chain at the set, if I don't chain, I'm getting redded like half the time, it feels like so far, which is unfortunate. But we'll see if we can get a top spot. I think we started off the video with a second and it's been like all downhill from there. Uh, but we'll just go for some coins here, maybe make the comeback a little bit later. Yeah, we're in a middle spot here, not too bad. And I think I do want to use this star just for the shortcut now. Maybe save these shrooms for the ending cuts. See if we can pass a couple players in the meantime. What else do we get? Oh, we get the boot. That is a really good pull. If there was going to be a shock. Now would be a great time. Let's just use this golden as well, actually, to try to stay ahead of the pack here. So when the boot expires, I'm not in the middle of the crossfire. We actually get another really good pull. I think that player, yeah, they're going to use their fire. We can go ahead and chain these reds and take them out into the set. Yeah, looks like that worked. And just like that, we're up in second. There's a blue shell on its way. We have a really good pull. Wait, did they fail? I'm not really sure what happened. And wait, the red shell passed me. It actually went on the other path, so it couldn't hit me at all. That player actually failed the blue shell dodge. And just like that, we make the comeback all the way up into first place. Guys, the toad luck, it's real. There is one thing I haven't mentioned about this combo, but it's the fact that you actually have to pick any toad tracks that come up in the roulette 
And depending on who you are, it might be a perk. It might not be, depending on, you know, if you like the Toad tracks in this game or not. But we have Toad Harbor, we have Toad Circuit, and we have this track, Toad's Turnpike. And thankfully, we actually got it picked. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game nowadays, especially because I am now a Toad main, as it is just fun for everyone. You know, it can be run, it can be bagged effectively. Everything works. You can really play it how you want it. This really is peak Mario Party Deluxe. That's what makes this track so great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do some bagging. While everyone has shells ahead of me, they're taking all the coins I was waiting for. So I will just not waste any more time. First is pretty far up. So hopefully that means we can get some good pulls here. Yeah, that player is swerving like crazy with their shells. I need to watch out. I'm just going to go super wide. Okay, we get the bill. Get up to 10 coins. Perfect. Can we get another item box somewhere? Maybe? No, it looks like... There actually are none at all here. I didn't realize how spread out it was, but I guess it does depend on the lap and, you know, how far up or how far back I am. And yeah, I'm just going to immediately spam those so I can start the golden timer and hopefully get another item here soon. And okay, we can get one. Oh no, I'm going to run into this player with the star. I'm too fast with the golden mushroom. I just went right into them. And then we pulled a piranha plant. Let's just avoid all these bullet bills. But maybe this is a good thing. Wait, there's a crazy eight. Did we blow it up? I'm not sure what just happened. The bomb went off. Like three of us get taken out by that. And just like that, we're up in seventh, even though we're just in ninth before that. And okay, these are going to be eighth place boxes. That's a good pull though. We can go ahead and boo now. Is there going to be a shock? Can we get a shock dodge here? We can. We get the shock dodge just right on you. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oh no, I missed the double item chain. I only got one green shell there or one box after the green shell rather okay we can get another one here actually only in six even after the shock dodge though and we do have one more shroom is it gonna be enough we can pass one person and that's where we will finish in fifth place well no toad tracks this time but we do end up on a random bangkok rush and even though we got the shock dodge there actually only finished in fifth i didn't really have any good items in the pocket to help me catch up quicker and i think i was just too far behind to really make it happen uh, but I will take a shock dodge any day of the week, even if it is only a fifth place. But we're actually already in first tier somehow. We can go ahead and trail. There's a player right in my tail. And see if we can get maybe a little bit of a lead here. We can trap the stairs, use the coin. See what else we can get. There is a red shell coming for me, and I cannot get my items out in time. I'm still waiting a little bit. And then we get chained. We get Mario Kart a little bit. We get comboed, whatever you want to call it, with the fire. I actually was going to go on the side and get all the coins on the staircase, but unfortunately we got hit off the edge with the fire there. Get the piranha plant. I do find this track's actually a little bit difficult to stay at 10 coins on. There just really aren't a lot of coins in, like, convenient places. Like, there are, like, two here, but they're kind of spread out, and they're always taken by everyone else. Like, can we, like, pass some players here? I think I will, but at the expense of getting an item, that was not worth it. I probably should have saved one shroom there anyways for the shortcut here on the right. That's a red shell. I'm just going to slow down and let them pass me. I think I've learned recently, like definitely very recently, that it's worth it to play more defensive and kind of like yield to players that have, you know, items like that when you have nothing or when you only have shrooms because it's better just to slow down and lose a little bit of time than it is to get hit out, lose coins, and lose time. Uh, but then I say that we missed a double item box. We get hit with more fire. And then there's more fire. We somehow evade it. I can hear the piranha plant. I'm like sticking very wide on purpose. But yeah, like I said, I have no coins. This track is very difficult to get coins. Wow, that, I didn't even hear the star. There's no indicator and they somehow don't hit me too. That is super lucky. Uh, we do have the shrooms here. I'm going to go down low and hope for the best. Hopefully I can get like a dodge and there's if there's like a late shock. No, we get the single shroom. I get the wrong way drift, a pro controller moment. And yeah, this race is just completely over for me. We get the golden to top it off, and the golden gets stolen. Yeah, this race is just a disaster, it seems like, so far. And I'm going to finish all the way down in 11th place. Dry, dry desert. A favorite here on the channel, if you guys have watched me, especially in the streams. And wait, we have not one but two dry bowsers now. What is happening right now? Is the dry bowser the character I should have picked instead of Toad? Is the dry bowser meta here? What is happening? I'm just happy to see some more variety. Like I said earlier, this room is actually incredible for the diversity of the characters. You know, in a world full of Yoshi Teddy, we have Birdo, Peach, Drive Hauser, Waluigi, and Toad. We did have a Cat Peach earlier. I think they're gone at this point in time, though. Maybe they're just still in the room, but they switched over to something else. Yeah, we're going to do some bagging as always. This is probably the bagging track other than maybe Cheeseland in my mind. 
in terms of you know how effective it is but also just how obnoxious it is and how many people bag with you like look at this i'm reversing this is lap one there's like literally 10 people behind me like look we're all huddled around this item box what is happening right now and the funny thing is it doesn't matter because i'm gonna probably stop to bag again on this track ideally you get a golden mushroom for the end of lap two beginning of lap three shortcut uh, but really a lot of different strategies can apply here i definitely need some points though i didn't realize i was only at five after getting hit there uh okay there's an early shock like i said that's probably okay it's still so early i was probably going to do some more bagging anyways right now i really just want to get all these coins that i can and then probably wait at this set like literally everybody else's and get a ninth place box at the very least that is fine let's just boo right away we get the crazy that's a really good pull as well and wow we steal the coin though that is not ideal a player actually almost took out all my crazy eight. We still have the star, you know, which is the most important thing. Let's just use that right away. Get the double box and start going. We're in fourth, but top three are completely gone. Um, and yeah, this is the shortcut I was talking about. This is just so broken at the end of lap two. We're just cutting off so much of the offer. We're going to be able to catch up to the front of the pack very quickly here. Um, and maybe too quickly. Okay, now first place is a little bit gone. It looks like and i'm gonna have to settle for the single box unfortunately because that player just took the double and oh no i spammed the button to block the red but my green went forward i actually didn't hold on to it i accidentally threw it forward and then we're gonna get double redded anyways i don't know if it really would have mattered there um but we'll see what can happen we can still get a good box here it really depends on what we can pull from this last set and really what happens and we do get a really good pull i'm gonna spam everything because i don't want to get started here but we'll see if we can pass anybody and we're actually all the way up in fourth, and we finish in fourth just like that. What a crazy race. Maple Treeway, we just played Dry Dry Desert, a pretty long track. We played Weibo earlier, the longest track in the game. And are playing this track, one of the longest tracks. I think it's like number two now that we Rainbow Road's in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that red shell is scary. Can we banana snipe someone out of the air? We did not. Well, wow, the red shell actually like lagged behind me and then eventually caught up and hit that poor Dry Bowser. Okay, we don't get anything to take out first. We can just play defensive, get some coins here, and be on our way. I feel like my average in the room has been pretty good. I've been getting like fourth or fifth every single race, but I've struggled to really get a first other than that sweet, sweet canyon race. I guess, yeah, I did get a second earlier, uh, but I think that does go to show that really a lot of different combos are viable. People never use Toad, but here I am doing pretty well with Toad, you know, all things considered. And that player tried to back me earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and red chill them. But wait, they did have protection, but now they don't because we have two red shells. And there we go. We're up in first just like that. We got a couple lucky red shells. That's an unlucky shock, but we might have gotten smart bounced anyways, or maybe snipe perhaps. Now, but we're going to keep going. This is definitely a front running track. So being in the front is where I want to be, even with a shock like that. I think we're still okay. There's definitely going to be a blue shell, maybe even two blue shells with how long this track is. There could be another shock too, honestly, at this point. Uh, but I think it really does come down to our red shell luck as well as we've already been hit by one there. We did have the protection. Yeah, I'm just going to risk it, not go for the single item there. It is quite a bit slower, but also I'm just probably going to pull a coin. I think it's like a 70% chance to pull a coin when you're in first without another item. That's why you see so many people holding coins when you get it because you can't pull two coins in a row. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably pull a coin in the pocket here after this bomb. That's a shroom. Oh, we, we actually don't. We get the green shell. So yeah, even if there's a blue shell, it's not really worth cycling for the horn. As double protection is definitely more valuable. And we actually have a bit of a lead. I think the rest of the pack's been busy kind of taking each other out. And I've been kind of chilling in the front, which is, you know, the best case scenario. But we get banana, the blind banana. I'm going to take all those coins so no one else can get them too. Or all those mushrooms, rather. Wait, the ground shroom dodge. Oh, we were so close. We're like inches away from dodging that blue shell on the ground. Yeah, just like that, the whole pack has caught up to me, it seems like. So our lead is completely gone, and I have a really devious bomb spot coming up here, as there's literally nowhere to go. And we can just, oh no, we get boomerang though. I'm just gonna drop it anyways on their heads. And I don't know, if, did I take anyone out there? Did I not? There's green shells all over the place. We're just running for our lives here with these mushrooms, and I'm gonna hope for the best. And we somehow get the third nothing feels better than beating a bunch of yoshi teddies it's actually a funky kong city tripper ahead of me as well 
like I've been saying, this lobby is kind of crazy for the variety. There's another Toad player. There's a Toad, Mr. Scooty now. Let's go. The Toad gang is growing race by race. Uh, but unfortunately for us, Toad is a lighter character. We're just going to get bullied off the track there. There's a Ludwig player. There's two Dry Bowser players still. There's a Funky Kong player. There's a Morden player. Did I see that correctly? What is this lobby? This is the craziest most diverse 20k lobby I think I've ever played and yeah that's a Morden Yoshi bike that is wild especially with all these Japanese players using these different characters because I feel like typically I see Japanese players always use Yoshi Teddy uh, so it is just awesome to see the variety unfortunately we are getting hit by every item in the game right now I have no coins I'm gonna have to do something about that but yeah we're in a decent spot here we can go ahead and snag that item box shroom up here try to get a couple more coins and oh no that boomerang's coming back we somehow avoid it what was that sequence we get the double box too that's a red shell coming backwards you know i'm gonna go ahead and chain at this set here and that was a big mistake but we can block it but we missed i should have just held the green what was i thinking trying to make an epic play backing the green and there's a shock yeah i am just getting completely combat here that player's backing up for the mushroom they took the other one too and that, what uh, okay, um, I'm still on the track. I don't know what that was. I like clipped the side and got like a really weird trick. I've never seen that before. I was literally at a loss for words there. There's a second blue shell. This race has been insane so far. Let's chain up the set. Let's avoid the lava. I don't. We both get hit though. I get the blooper. I'm hopping around the corner. There's a million coins on the track. We're up to five. There's two boomerangs. Why are there so many boomerangs this race? And okay, we need something really good. I'm just spamming the bill. Is there going to be another shock? Probably not. We're kind of in a bad spot because I actually have no item after this bill. Unless this bill goes all the way. It's going to go really far though, actually. Wow, that takes us all the way up into fifth. I will take that all day. An insane race. Wow, look at this front line at the start of this race. Besides the Peachette. Double Dry Bowser, Funky Kong, Morden. You couldn't really ask for more. This is an insane lobby. Probably the most fun I've had in a while. And even though I am... You know, a Toad main nowadays. I, of course, still love the Yoshi tracks. Yoshi Circuit, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi Valley. They're all great. And probably my favorite out of the bunch is this one. Yeah, Yoshi Circuit. Nice bagging track. And you guys can see exactly how many people are still bagging. Bagging is alive and well, even though Nintendo nerfed it a couple months back with the release of Wave 6. I feel like bagging is just, you know, there. Just a little bit different, right? You kind of have to adjust. You can't cycle through as many items at the same set but the idea is still there it lives on and i have been you know having as much fun as ever still playing this game and bagging i'm catching up too quickly okay i guess that shock will help though um we can go ahead and actually back up here try to get some coins oh that morden's gonna take it uh, but we'll get past as well go down to ninth which is ideal and see what can happen that player is waiting i don't know what they're doing but i guess they're just waiting for me and everyone else to pass them kind of like what i was doing oh no we get another gold in here um, I think it's worth just going for shortcut here. Yeah, first, second, and third are still gone. Actually, four players are up there. I'll let this Yoshi player pass. No, wait, they're going to let me pass? We're both waiting at the same time? Okay, well, I'll take the double. And, okay, we get another star golden. Actually, I'm going to start the timer right away in the golden. So hopefully I can get the next box on time. I'm actually going to have to wait a little bit here. Unfortunately, that's okay, though. Can we get a bullet bill? Wow, we can. Okay, I'm going to have to watch it for the star. Wow, they almost hit me. I went really wide. They went wide. I don't know if it was just lag or they're trying to star me there. Not really surprised at either nowadays, but we might be too far back. We do have the bullet bill, but we are so far behind. We're going to have to see if we can make it work with the bill extension. But of course, we do have the star, which is probably the best pull in this scenario, as if there isn't a shock here, we're going to have invincibility for a while afterwards, and hopefully we can... You know, pull it off here. I'm going to spam the star right away. Go for the double box. And really hope for the best. I don't think there's going to be a shock. We're going to chain our star either way. And yeah, literally nothing happened. Even though we had bill extension. I'll pass one person on the line. And take the seven. The great tracks continue. We have Rainbow Road this time. I think today's video has had some of the best track selection in a long time. And maybe that's what's made this lobby so much fun to play in. I think we did lose a couple players there at the end of that last race, but we also gained a couple. We have like more than one 70k player now, which is awesome. And that just means some better VR gains for me as well as, like I've been saying, I've been doing like pretty well, maybe slightly above average so far. Definitely can't complain. Gotta watch out for these bananas being trailed. Yeah, I knew it. 
Red Shell being trailed as well. Gonna play it safe here. They're probably gonna try to red me here, so maybe I'll just hold on to my protection, go for the single box. Yeah, that is definitely the play here. Maybe I can outline this player and get inside. Maybe I can't, but I guess I don't need to because I can just red them at a first. And we can do just that. Uh, but okay, that player has red. You know, I'm gonna slow down. I'll let them pass me, but then they lag trail me anyways, so it literally didn't matter. I got taken out either way. I'm just gonna go super wide here, go for these coins, get up to 10. And hopefully get a good item. If you guys don't know by now, there is a really broken item set on this track. Uh, the same thing happens on tracks like uh, Big Blue as well as DK Summit, where there's a cannon set, and there's a item set right before the cannon. And the game, because it is distance-based items, thinks you're further back than you are, so you always get like a really broken pull, even if you are like in a top spot or like close to the front of the pack. Uh, and there, you know, I got a golden and triple shrooms and like, what was that, sixth place? Uh, but unfortunately, as soon as I get up into second, we are getting redded out already. What a shame. Uh, but that just means we have another opportunity to get a good cannon set on lap three here. So we'll see if we can do just that. Where is that player going? They lag trail me again. I'm just getting lag trails left and right at the same spot every lap. Yeah, we're down in 11th. Can I just snipe some with the green shell? I think we did. Everyone else is getting taken out. Yeah, we're up in 7th. This is crazy. Um, and I do expect to get a really good pull here. Oh, no, I missed the trick there. Of course, I really do need the double here. Yeah, we can go ahead and get it. And what can we get? Oh, we get the star in the pocket. I'm going to spam it. Oh, no, I couldn't. I was trying to cycle through my mushrooms. But the shock happened before I could get it out. And I'm actually going to go right into that player that already grew. So I'm going to get squished by getting that mushroom boost. That is tragic. We're going to go for a single box here. And okay, we get the triple shrooms. Another red shell. Okay, no, there actually isn't another red shell. Can I like pop around this corner? I can. We're in fourth. Can I hold the fourth? I'll take a fourth. Another crazy race. Twisted Mansion. This is a track. I don't really know what to call it. Maybe like a shroom start track is kind of what I've heard. Basically, any track that you start like in the middle backpack and have a chance at playing a shroom. Um, is, you know, what this track is because there is a shortcut at the beginning. Unfortunately, we did not get the shroom. We get the red chill and we get smart bounce. So really worst case scenario there as we're all the way down in ninth. But yeah, tracks like this track. Um, LA Laps comes to mind because that shroom strategy. I basically go for it every time I play the track. Even if I start in first, I'll like intentionally drop out to a middle bottom spot just for a chance to get a mushroom to take the shortcut because it is so powerful. Uh, but I think I've asked this before, but definitely let me know in the comments if you guys have a name for this. I'm going to go with Shroom Start. It kind of makes sense in my mind. Um, but maybe there's a better term out there. You're getting comboed already, getting hit by every item. Okay, we do get the shrooms this time. This player is being really slow. I thought they had a horn there, but that is a mushroom. And somehow we're up in third. Yeah, we just went from like last all the way up to top spot, got hit out, got back up. And now we're like in third, fourth. We get the lag trail. And, oh wait, first is completely gone, actually. So that means maybe we have a chance to uh, get a really good pull here. Can we snipe this player? We're going to go for it. We just barely missed it. I'm going to go wide. Oh, I thought they would go for the double. They actually went completely over for the single. Not really sure why, as they probably would get a better pull than what they have. Because first place is so far gone. Yeah, I get the triple shrooms in like third there. We're going to watch out for this player's green shell. Oh wait, they have a star now. What is happening? We get the triple greens. We're going to have to watch out. I'm actually going to slow down and let them star into the shortcut because I forget they'd hit us there. Yeah, they had the piranha plant anyways. We'll just chain up the set here. Hopefully get something better. We really don't though. That's actually at yeah, first. No, wait, that was first. I just passed. They must have got hit by like a blue and something else. It's just like that. We're up in second. First is right here. Go inside these bananas. Okay, no item coming back for us. Green's coming up though. And, oh no, no mushrooms for me. Maybe I should have held my shroom from before. But yeah, I'll likely get past here at the very end. Maybe I can hold on to my second. Is that going to be the case? We're going to super horn, and yes, we will. We'll get the second place, just like how we started the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.